military advisors the way back into Iraq? With the news that President Barack Obama is now sending 300 military advisors back into Iraq, identified as special forces, we may be eyeing the beginning of a new phase in the Iraq war. The war, we have been assured, is over, and the bulk of U.S. troops have been withdrawn. Thus, the president can claim one of his campaign promises has been fulfilled, ending of an unpopular war. But the striking successes of the insurgent ISIS army and its subsequent occupation of over a third of Iraqi territory, coupled with the blatant failures, corruption, and the sheer incompetence of the government of Nouri al-Maliki, has opened doors that once seemed sealed shut. Over half a century ago, when Vietnam began preparations for a free and fair election, the UN opened the door to countries involved there to bring in troops in a limited so-called peacekeeping mode. The late great historian Howard Zinn noted in his A People's History of the United States, under the Geneva Accords, the United States was permitted to have 685 military advisors in southern Vietnam. Eisenhower secretly sent several thousand. Under Kennedy, the figure rose to 16,000, and some of them began to take part in combat operations. South Vietnamese President Go Dinh Diem was losing. Most of the South Vietnam countryside was now controlled by local villagers organized by the National Liberation Front. Zen writes of summer 1963. Before the year was over, President Diem was dead, slain by his own generals at the behest of the CIA. The criticisms of President Go Dinh Diem then are strikingly similar to the criticisms of Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki now. What lies uncontested is the right of the U.S. empire to choose who should lead other countries. What happens when one, five, ten, or twenty of these so-called military advisors gets killed or wounded? What happens when anti-aircraft fire brings down a U.S. helicopter stuffed with military advisors? President Obama may find that he is trapped in the marshes of war, just as President Lyndon Johnson was trapped in the jungles of Vietnam, where not only Vietnamese peasants or U.S. soldiers died, but so too died his hopes for the great society. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Express an Iranian or that night of Comcast, its staff, or associates. With that being said, viewer discretion is advised. That applies to this week and last week. <laughs> yeah. Especially last week. <laughs> All right, and with that being said, I want to introduce my cohorts to the right of me. We've got the elder, the king of the hate, the uh, Israelites. Now I be your servant, the servant of Yah. Thank you for you letting me you be the in the arena. Yeah. Woo. Lord, have mercy. To his right, we got brother Isaiah. Man, what's yeah. up, man? Oh, it's always, it's always a pleasure to be here and to have our brother Gideon back on. He was, he was a wall last week. You know, man. I, let me just say, Selena, we thank her for yes. having been yes. here. And those of you who watch this program, we're honored that she had the courage to come into the arena. Absolutely. First of all. She was accurately, duly warned that we are talking about reality on this show. Mm -hmm. We're not choreographed. And I think after w that was done, she didn't recognize the implications of trying to take her perspective to a court system. And I mm -hmm. think that was the thing that you guys were basically mm -hmm. trying to emphasize. You can't take conjecture and innuendo right. into a court system. Right. They want facts. Well, well, Absolutely. Well, confidence, I want to say this. To anybody out there in the universe listening, if you want to go through get through a court system, yes. come through the arena first. Sure. And mm -hmm. I want to thank Andrew Hunt for coming on. If you want to be a governor, yes. come through the arena. Yes. 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 I want to throw in there too that we definitely thank the sister Selena for coming on. Sure. Uh, uh, you know, and we were pointed before the show, you and I were talking, and we were all sitting here talking. Mm -hmm. uh, we definitely want to thank the sister coming on, and it did get a little heated for the sister. 
She got she when she jumped up. I mean, you know that was like, uh oh, uh, you know everything. She killed yeah. everybody on cold red. Yeah, yeah, I thought she was gonna go into a jujitsu yeah. move or something. I, you know, I was kind of the reason I didn't jump is because I kind of knew you didn't want to jump up. right. I didn't want not at that time, especially mm -hmm. with but but and I didn't feel I really didn't feel threatened. Of course, because you're not. I understand that this is a mother who has been separated from Thank her child. She's been traumatized, been very traumatized. Thank and you. and Thank as you. you know, I couldn't even I wouldn't even begin to pretend. Right. That I understand how deeply she's affected by that. Well, but, what, but what, we, what we do understand is domestic violence. Yes. And see, I think that's a backdrop of that discussion when we go off into what happened. Because I think in households all over this country and all over the world, we have differences of opinion mm -hmm. as it pertains to certain methods of getting things done right. in a household. So what you were telling her, not disagreeing with what she said happened, mm -hmm. but as a result of what she said, having evidence that would substantiate right. her facts. Right. And therefore, she would be justified in going to court. But to not have equal time for the other person, exactly. the other side, exactly. and I think that was the thing that you were breaking and that, up. And that's what it was. And because she did not accept that in the most humble fashion, mm -hmm. and you began to continue to press that fact, Correct. it became confrontational. I, I really felt like at one point of time, that and uh, you know that I had to represent, and not because I don't know the father and I don't know their case personally, right. but to represent some sense of black manhood. I think that one of the things that happens in the black family is the dis the disembalance. Yes, that the brothers' voices or the black man's voice is never really heard it's not. from a different perspective, and and it was it it kind of started to bother me because the allegations and the charges were so serious. And when we were trying to you know really get to the point, it wasn't a matter of putting her in the hot seat or to have her you know, to cut her up because I was really in the beginning when I heard the case, I'm like, wait a minute, your child was abducted and right, 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 you right. have these type of serious charges. Exactly. You know, levied against a black man, then I would like for you to elaborate and at least have some proof and at least go into it. when we go into the you know, the other things and we started getting, you know, um, yeah. astrological yeah. and you know, all the presidential and like, all the kind of things of this <laughs> right. Well, that's you know, it, 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 it shifts it. Yes. It goes back to what we were talking about earlier on your show, mm -hmm. defying, I think that as black people, and I'd like to ask you more of this, mm -hmm. you know, definitely being the elder mm -hmm. uh, on the show, it goes back to defying black family. You know, it's being redefined in America. Mm. The nuclear family, which the cornerstone of civilization itself since the origination of man was a man and a woman and them developing a relationship and in that bond, <coughs> that produces another life. And mm. in that new life, we began the cultural de definitions of what the family is. Right. That nuclear concept has been redefined through mysticism, technological uh, tampering, uh, genetic skullduggery, mm -hmm. and cloning, and these types of concepts that are unnatural in the process has taken our society into an area where we no longer are normal when it comes to family. Mm -hmm. Normal now is a new normal. The new normal is a man and a man and a woman and a woman, and I guess the other new normal next will be a man and a beast. Mm. And where do we go from there? Mm. So the issue in America of the concept of freedom has not only redefined us as a family unit, but it has also redefined us as a race and a species. But Gideon, you know, one might, you know, look at the arena, say, oh, look at Gideon, he's just, he, he's just like those Boko Haram, you know. Mm -hmm. Though, mm -hmm. you know, exactly, I would agree. Mm -hmm. So, Taliban, Taliban, right, or right. right. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, which is which is I want to say, which is uh, uh, governed by the U.S. government. Right. Come on, it, come on now. Right. But in the sense of, of fighting against an oppressive system that would deny you uh, self, uh, what do you call self determination? Right, self determination. Kuja Khalil. One, one, one of the things, though, when you're looking at a capitalist system, yes, sir, there is no value. You know, right. Everything right. Exactly. Right. Right. So right. even when you talk about the family structure, right. when you talk about a man, even that's for sale. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's for sale through the marriage contract. Yeah. See, first, the European, this America is a corporation, mm -hmm. USA right. Inc. Mm -hmm. Barack Hussein Obama is the head of USA Inc. Hmm. How does a con uh, corporation operate? It uses paperwork and contracts. 
the first contract that you have in this country is the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. And that birth certificate gives them the authority over your name and over you as a person. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they can now use you as collateral on the international part market mm -hmm. because of the taxes that you will pay into this government over the lifetime of your working in the system. But lady, I'm a little confused. Come on. And see, we were going to have two guests on. See, you talk about paperwork. Yes, sir. You talk about how, how, do, they, how do they enforce that? They enforce that through, first of all, inoculations, and that has to do with education. They tell you that your child cannot matriculate into society <laughs> unless you go to parochial schools mm -hmm. that are, which are really other corporations okay. that right. uh, uh, enforce the government's edicts on the children with inoculations. And because you signed that birth certificate, they can t uh, take your child away from you in the school without your permission can they do because that? you signed off on it. But can they do that without your signature? Absolutely, because they, it's called oppression. So, mm. Kenny, what? Well, okay, because it, it sounds kind of conspiratorial. Conspiratorial? But see, this is the key, though. Okay. Many of our people are in deep cover. What do I mean? They are really. They've gotten so far into the white man's system that they've forgotten from whence they've come. You know, when you send a secret agent, you know, the spook that sat behind the door never forgot that he was a spook. Right. And, but he sat behind the door. He allowed them to think that he was with them, but what did he do? He went back and trained the brethren in the communities so they could fight against the encourage, incursion of the government into our communities. That's right. So we talked about Madeline Maxine Waters. When she told us what was going on with the government, yes. it should have been an uprising from the gangs, the Crips, the Blood, the Blackstone Rangers, all of them should have came together and said, we will not. But they saw profit. Right. Well, when you're talking about one of the things that that's what uh, uh, Deputy Chair Fred Ham Sr. was murdered for was the Rainbow, the original Rainbow Coalition, not just Come Jesse on. Jackson. Come on. Was politicizing the gangs. Mm -hmm. But it go, it all goes into one of the things that we don't have and you don't find And another it, concept of family came yeah, is in the gangs. In the gangs. Mm -hmm. But what you don't have are, we call them the street tribes. Come on. But what you don't have is you don't have with a lot of the so-called organizations, you don't have an end game. Mm. You don't have, right. we have, we have a, we have plenty of organizations. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a plethora of organizations right. that have problems. They yes. will tell you the problems mm -hmm. and if we did right. this and that, but they don't come up with solutions. Mm -hmm. We're talking about in Guza Saba, we're talking about Kujak Lil self-determination mm -hmm. and independence. Mm -hmm. What are the roads? My question would be, yes. what are the roads and the steps? What can we do? We know the problems, mm -hmm. but what are some of the solutions or some of the steps that we can take? To the end this? game. You know what, the, what, what is one word? End game? Yeah. You know what it is? What is it? Apocalypse. Are you talking about revelations, brother? I'm talking about total annihilation of the existing government based on the natural occurrences that are happening because of the tectonic plates are moving, because of the internal structure of the earth is being manipulated because they are taking oil out, they're taking coal out. All of these things so are what happening. what should we do, though? I mean, in, okay, in well, the process of waiting for the tectonic plates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cataclysmic yeah, disaster. Right. What, right, what, what, what should we do? Right, because you've seen, like, we've had Tracy on. You know, they have a whole constitution laid out after the revolution. I'm like, Did you, you know, know that? Mm -hmm. the, the right, US after, not, not Revolutionary not, Communist Party USA. That's right. Yeah. Shout out to Tracy Shout out. Lewis. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. okay. Right, but they have a whole structure set up mm -hmm. after. Mm -hmm. The revolution and me and Yang, we had to go like, we, yo, hold up, wait a minute, how y'all do this after the fact? But just the fact that they, they have an engaged. Mm -hmm. Now, you know? the Hebrew scriptures tell us mm -hmm. that we are to wait to the end to see the destruction of the civilization and the society implode on itself. But in the meantime, <laughs> make sure we maintain the cultural directives of Yah through his Torahic law mm -hmm. and the cultures of, of the Hebrew people that are intermingled with the uh, Muslims mm -hmm. and the other natural people mm -hmm. on, that are left on the planet. So what we find is there's going to be a natural progression of destruction and <clears throat> poverty. Uh, the health of the American people is continuing to diminish mm -hmm. through uh, the weight gain mm -hmm. issues. Right. See, all of this is part of a, in, a, a, a strategy of euthanasia and ultimately to uh, genocidal development for the cultural underdevelopment of our people. What did I say? Genocidal development? Mm -hmm. Do you, when you give a people who are bent on depression, mm -hmm. war, anger, lack of food, mm -hmm. 
poison air, mm -hmm. you under pressure from working there, right. that's a genocidal setup. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And so they know uh, that it's going to be an apocalyptic ending. The they, Europeans are ready. They, 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 the uh, uh, militia groups, mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. Oh, boy. Okay. When, when, the, when the president was uh, elected, they sold more guns for the people that's under, in the authority of hey, the wait, guns. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Wait, I'm All right, I'm sorry. Whew. It does this down. apocalypse happen all at one time? Because you know, Miriam, she's in the middle of the apocalypse right now, i.e., Palestine. Mm. She's over in the Gaza right now. So they can say that they're going through the apocalypse. You know, every day, and I want to give a shout out to me, she's posting some images on Facebook that'll make you like, yo, the apocalypse is going down right now. So is it a worldwide apocalypse? Is it little enclave of apocalypses? Well, what we're finding is that the globalization of the world's resources and the unification of the European nations i.e. the ten kings that have come back to make comprise the ten toes that are spoken of in Daniel the prophet. Mm -hmm. That is a part of the mobilization of the nation so that there are military intrusions mm -hmm. into Africa and preparing for China. They are really working together. But it's all about taking the resources from the mighty and the holy people. See, what you don't realize, because you haven't looked at the biblical story, is that we are the problem. We, with melanated, mm -hmm. woolly hat people, we're the problem in America because we don't, we would produce, we were producing, mm -hmm. but every time we started producing stuff, mm -hmm. they came in and killed us and assassinated mm -hmm. and blew us up and then flipped it on us through the, uh, the, uh, the politician and the preachers and mm -hmm. told us we were lazy, shifters, and, and don't, don't have any type of intellect. <laughs> and we bought in on it. Well, what's the, but here's my whole thing. What is the countermeasure? The countermeasure I mean, is organizing through the various groups, SNCC, very, uh, churches and mm -hmm. all of that. But see, we're not unified. Not only, even in, uh, in the politics, mm -hmm. you got the Republicans, yeah. the Democrats, mm -hmm. the Liberals, the Independents. Mm -hmm. Oh, I tell you ain't all the time, uh, Georgia has the, the most black Republicans in, in the union. But I, I'm going to tell you my thing, and Come coming on. from the perspective as a panther, as a revolutionary, uh, the unification of all African peoples here in America is a, it, it, it's problematic. So okay. what, a revolu re what a revolutionary does is those people who want to learn, those people who want to take countermeasures, and, we, and what revolutionaries do, we train leaders. Yes. So then we start to prepare them how to you know, store the water, how to eat That's off right. the land, how exactly. to grow gardens, right. how to do things That's like it. this. That's so right. in this state, and then That's what right. we do is we train revolutionaries, so in revolutionary, when revolutionary conditions come up, yes. they will learn how to exploit them. It's just like the uh, Rodney King incident. We look at, when you see riots, what they call riots, I think in L.A. they're calling it an uprising. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, when you look at the uprising that occurred from behind Rodney King, mm -hmm. you see that the government practices or the powers that be practice a simple thing, and it's called containment. They surround right. the thing right. and let right. it burn itself out. Exactly. But had you had revolutionaries in there, mm -hmm. then they could go, it's not about... You mean military strategists that are revolutionaries. Military strategists. Well, revolutionary. Mm. See, the thing about a revolutionary, one of uh, Chairman Carr taught me, he said, a revolutionary is not just an army man. Exactly. A revolutionary is just not the man that picks up a gun. A revolutionary, true, when true. he's in the village, if the village needs a farmer, the revolutionary is a farmer. Exactly. If the village needs a doctor, the revolutionary is a doctor. That's if right. the village needs a teacher, he's all those things. That's right. And he's those things plus the institutions. And once the institutions are threatened, yes. then the revolutionary also knows how to pick up his weapon to defend Come these on. very institutions That's that right. he and the people have built. That's right. So it's not about... With us as the revolutionary black nationalists or the new Black Panther Party, uh, Atlanta Decatur chapter, is not just about uh, having the unification of the masses, which we would love, mm -hmm. but we understand that that's problematic, mm -hmm. but finding those people who are revolutionary, teaching them revolutionary ways, mm -hmm. so that when revolution does come, come or when on. the condition for revolution is ripe, that's right. then we can have the people to go into place and exploit those conditions mm -hmm. and to lead mm -hmm. the people who aren't ready. It's not about just me having enough water for myself or me having enough uh, supplies and things for myself, mm -hmm. but to set up places in mm -hmm. our communities mm -hmm. and uh, areas in our communities, mm -hmm. community information centers mm -hmm. to where our people can come and get the information, health centers where mm -hmm. our people can come and get help. Mm -hmm. And this is even before the revolution. Absolutely. This is now. The, and, and this we is are now. in the midst because of we're in the world revolution. right now. Right? Absolutely. Exactly. So I think that it's I think that it's incumbent upon us as Africans here in America, especially us that know, mm -hmm. to start to take the lead and start to develop these community centers and start to develop these areas mm -hmm. where people can come and get the information mm -hmm. and come get the nutrition mm -hmm. and whatever mm -hmm. they need to go on to the next level. You jumped day. right in there where I am because, you know, it takes me back to not only have we that same concept in the Hebrew community mm -hmm. to where we are naturalist, we are herbalist, 
we are uh, uh, hikers, and mm. of course there are segments of our community that are more of the religious side and don't go into the dietary portions. Right. They say, well, I won't eat swine or this, <clears throat> but I'm just going to eat all this butter and all this other stuff <laughs> and still come back with the same diseases and illnesses. So, but the issue has to do with how we reckon the development of the various groups. Yes. See, when I talked about the uh, mosque, number 15 mm -hmm. right out here in Ben Hill mm -hmm. they have a program on Tuesdays where they you give contribute five dollars and the food that America is throwing away by the mm. tons mm. Muhammad Ali's daughter even spoke about that there you going collecting and redistributing it into the community and building a nation you have beautiful men and women that are energetic, intelligent, and they glow. Yeah. You know why they glow? Why? Because they're sweating in the sun. <laughs> we in the sun, we, we sweat, glow. we glow. Right. And that glow is not only from the work in the community, it's from the love that they're displaying by being in the sun, working, organizing that food, and distributing it back to the people. That's what we've got to do because there's so much waste in this mm -hmm. country. We can use what America throws away yes. and build a nation, but it has to be built on the spiritual principles of love and peace. And those are the things that's going to help us uh, continue to survive as we navigate around white supremacy and white privilege and the impending destruction of this country. Mm. Mm. See, that is the element that... I don't believe that many of the various groups understand. Yeah. America's going down. It's right. going out. See, America's sitting on death row. Just like Amir Abu Jabal right. is on death row, America yeah. is on death row. But the first of the people that are going to be sacrificed are the ones now who are trying to talk about they got equal rights. Yeah. Have you ever mm. known a sacrifice to have equal, be equal to the ones that's going to sacrifice mm -hmm. it? And have you ever known a sacrifice to be haughty and proud and supporting the people trying to kill him? Mm, right. See, you got us in America, haughty and proud, mm. going, talking to support the people that's going to kill us. Oh. But see, Yahshua yeah. in the biblical story had to be what? Killed. Yeah. And he was killed by his own people, yeah. just like Malcolm, just like his own people with uh, uh uh, Marcus, mm. his own people infiltrated it. Mm. So that's the same thing we got. It's like with the Indians, the scouts were the part of the Indian tribe. But when Whitey came in with money, what did they do? Oh, we show you where they go. Yeah. We'll teach yeah. you the language. Yeah. Master, just take me and my family. So you got to go along, get along, Negroes mm. that are part of the community. And the most High say, let the wheat and the chairs grow up together. I'm gonna separate. You just love you love your enemy. So let me ask you this. This I'm sorry, oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me let me ask you this though. What about the people who say that our history and our experience here is inexplicably tied to America? If America it falls, is. that the African here in America falls with it. Uh oh, wait a minute. Did y'all read y'all didn't hear that scripture I read earlier? It says, say not to who this people say a confederacy. Don't you be confederate with them mm -hmm. because I'm going to break them in pieces. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, it says, don't you fear their fear because Yah Elohim, if you believe, he said, I will break them in pieces. It's their time is coming. So is my, I'm sorry, go ahead. You said if, if. No, 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 not if. I said, said their time is coming. So I, I have a question. Yes, sir. I have a question. Come on. So Yahweh's going to come and separate. Uh -oh us, the mm. Europeans mm. and the Africans here in America, his where son. is he going to set his son? Where is he going to set up the Africans here in America? Well, his feet is going to be in the midst of his people in Yerushalayim, but the nation's proper because we have ambassadors. You're an ambassador. Mm. You're an ambassador. When you go back to your families, then you represent the God that you know according to his understanding that he has given you. Or uh, the God that you don't know. We ambassadors, we ain't got no nuclear weapons there, any. You're a nuclear yourself, yes, brother. You're your life process nuclear, my, baby. Not, right. I mean, see, that's question. why you're going to see trouble. no weapon formed against yes. you will prosper. I don't know, boy. 45 will knock a hole in your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Uh, <laughs> this, this is my question. This is my question. Oh, yeah. So what about the people that aren't Hebrew Israelites? They, they, see, the most Are we going to be some type of slave no, or some no. servant or something? See, that the community of Hebrews that's run by gangster, pimp, hustlers, they are the ones that say, oh, if you don't think like we think, you can't come in our group, blah, blah, blah. Right. Because they've forgotten from whence they've come. Mm -hmm. Yah chooses who he will no matter what the label man puts on it. It has to do with the principle, a lifestyle, 
and ethics that would not be derogatory or destructive towards your fellow man. So are we going to have a say in this in this said government? Oh, well, I, I, that's what I mean. Am I just going to be? You'll have a say. But ultimately, the say is going to be the most high system is, is going to be a dictatorship. See, oh, I've got a problem oh, right now. Oh, God, man, you ain't gambling that. <laughs> the dictatorship. <laughs> hey, baby, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. No, you talking you about You know, you got supernatural, baby. You talking about supernatural thing, baby. We want to do this with Tracy, man. Man, we don't do dictatorship. We don't do dictatorship, man. See, y'all don't, y'all, only thing y'all have the prison to look oh. through is the white man's version of it. See, we going to another, oh. another level. Taking you tell me level. about what other, you tell me what's good about a dictatorship. What other uh, When the have? dictatorship is pre- based on the principles of love, peace, unity, and the preservation of life. As itself, defined by who? As defined by the principles of nature. Okay, it's like this. Oh. And that, we and know that the principles of nature, of nature. Is, controlled by, is controlled by a higher power. Okay, it's like this. We you know, know that. Hitler and Stalin had love for their people. They did. Major Absolutely. Love. Okay, I just want to put that yeah, out. Right, because my thing is this. You, we have to be careful with dictatorships. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like this. It's just it, a primary, a little example. Not on East Wine, but say that he came, you know, the son of Yahweh came back and judged and just like you know in islam they say the same thing he's going to come back he's going to break the cross he's going to destroy Excellent. the swine he's going to set up it. the seat and jesus is going to rule they call him isa mm-hmm. you know and he's going to rule That's the problem that we have to that is like they say he's going to rule according to sharia mm-hmm. he's going to rule according to the torah exactly if, if whatever so what about the people that like a good pork chop oh you know well, what i mean are they going to be forfeited they could be the most righteous people in the world. so are they going to be forfeited because they eat pork chop or the law is going to dictate you can't right. eat and, a pork chop. And we don't have to look too far. Let's look at Egypt. Yes. You know, when they when they put, uh, it was the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes. Well, the I mean, what you ask right. is a powerful question, but it has to do with two elements of the law and spirituality. The law itself defines a specific conduct of character and how you handle a specific item as it pertains to a meat mm. uh, and what purpose its purpose is in the natural environment. Now, Based on circumstances in one's life, situation and circumstance can, ta- can change a perspective about a uh, carnal law. Right. Mm. And take it to a whole nother level. Level of the game. A spiritual level. Mm. Now, if you out on the desert somewhere mm. and you about to die, and all of a sudden a piece of swine came up and you ate, had, that was going to save right. your life. Right. That's an extreme example. Mm-hmm. Then the ingestion of that, and as you said earlier, your adequate self. Thank you. It's brother. not what goes into a man that defiles him. Right. It's what comes out of him. Right. So when you take it away from the carnal law and take it to the spiritual level, mm-hmm. then you understand or you understand that these natural things are really just a metaphor and an example, but not the spiritual, which is the essence of what we are. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Now I was going to ask you just a quick question. Gary. Yes. I know Yang has got a question, too. <coughs> Realistically, because we talked about... Realism. We, we talked about uh, Mohammed Morsi. Yes. And how he... Former was, president former, of... Former. Right. Former. <laughs> ousted right, president. Which the majority, American puppet. Uh, no, no, don't say American puppet. No, because okay. Israel was like, man, we don't like this dude. Maybe okay, well, then they probably but, was an American right, puppet. Right, he only lasted a year. Gotcha. So what I'm saying is that the people, because they were like, oh, we, we're going to, you know, Islamic law, Sharia law, and you had Muslims there. Right. You had Christians there. Exactly. You had secular people, which are atheists there. Yes, exactly. So it's like... That didn't work, did it? Well, it does. See, what you recognize and what many don't understand that are in the natural mindset when they saw the death of the Messiah. Even our people, when the Messiah came to Jerusalem, they had read the prophets. They say, man, you supposed to take over this thing, baby. Mm-hmm. He in here. This is the champ right mm-hmm. here. You know, they throw Hosanna, you know, yeah. this the yeah. man. Yeah. Blah, blah, Z, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody, yeah. you know, we in yeah. now, baby. Right. And then when he didn't throw out the Romans, they're like, Homeboy, I mean, what's up? Mm-hmm. I thought you were gonna, you, you the man, you ain't you? Yeah. I mean, what's up? And, and, and when he, he's like, well, so, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell that, you know, he told him that the temple was gonna be torn down. He was gonna build it up in three days. days. Right. So like, what they had wait a minute, hold up. Okay, I'm making okay. the point. He like, what you gonna do? What I fought took him forty years to build this thing. See, what he was doing is taking it to another, another level. Right. When you become into the spirit realm, then all these natural issues don't affect you. That's why we have a spirit. I'm saying right now we're being impacted, but it's also according to your mindset. Get it. I want some earth realm solutions. Exactly. Because what, what we look at right 
Right, exactly. It's two things I want to touch on. One, I want to touch on what you said about, you know, when when they said um, uh, Jesus for our viewers out yeah, here who don't know. Well, we, we're, we're Go ahead to and say it. Don't be shy. Yashua? Uh -oh, look at but our viewers may not know Yashua. Yeah, right? but you know some, some of our viewers know Jesus. That'll make them I don't know. I've never met him. You know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, I'm you know, looking I heard at about him. I'm seeing him right now. I heard about him. I'm trying to get the locks locked. Go ahead. Saying. You already. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> listen. Seriously, on the, on the note is like you said, he was talking about rebuilding the temple in Come three on. days. Come and on. all the while that was good, he was rebuilding the spiritual, but them Romans still had their foot in their ass. That's but, my you know point right there. Secondly, Time. when you talk about a dictatorship, you're talking about taking the free will of the people. You know what I'm saying? If someone likes, for whatever reason, whether we disagree or not, likes a good pork sandwich or McDonald's. whatever whatever they like, that the people should have free. If it isn't harmful, I think that when you're talking about governing people, government governing people should be based on not spiritual laws, not capitalistic laws, but natural laws. The laws that doesn't infringe on the rights or impede people's rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Laws that allow us the basic essentials, food, clothes, and shelter. So I think that as people should have free will as long as that doesn't infringe or hinder someone else's right to, uh, to self-determination. Is Allah sovereign? Is Allah sovereign? Is, 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 is Islam? That's, that's what, and, and, and I'm a Muslim. Yes. But, oh my God, you're going to get me in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm, 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 a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, but I, as a Muslim, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, wouldn't advocate or wouldn't sponsor a government ran by Sharia. Uh, that wasn't my question, Islamic though. Law. Well, well, let me, let me say for the record, uh, uh, Yanga, there are Islamic, Arab Islamic women in America that is anti-Sharia. They're yeah. like, no, oh, we, we are Muslims, we wear the gabbana, yeah. but no Sharia. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. there's an organization. Define Sharia for those who don't know and understand. Is sharia sharia. Is, yeah, is uh, Islamic law. Is law based on the word of Allah, the Quran, and the way of Muhammad, the Sunnah. Muhammad. The, the problem that we have with, I have with Sharia, is not, is not just based on Quran. See, when the Quran was revealed, mm -hmm. when the book was revealed, it was revealed to Muhammad, and he gave it to his followers, okay. and it was left up to their interpretation. Yeah. Now, in this day and time, what the problem with me with Sharia is you got the Quran, the Sunnah, and then you got what's called a Qadi. You got a judge. Mm -hmm. So now I'm telling you the Quran say this, the Quran says this, and he's telling me, no, you don't understand it. The Quran says this, so we judge you. So now it's out of so-called God's hands. It's right. out of God's prophet's hands. Right. It's in your hand, in what you, what, what I love, what you call, you Islamic gangster. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So now you're going to judge this. And I think that that's my problem with Sharia. If it was right. left up to... What the, the word says. Exactly. And the interpretation and the goodwill of men, as long as it didn't hinder and encroach on other people's, mm -hmm. uh, whatchamacallits, and basically when it's left up to the nature of men, it really doesn't. See, what you've actually defined is the reality of the difference between the natural judgment versus the spiritual. Mm. That's why even though we, when I say the term dictatorship on a spirit level, it will be defined in truth, righteousness, and justice. Okay. So that would be the, the foundations upon which the original principles of the whole creation were built so upon. So it's going to be something like Pentecost. It's just the spirit is going to come over people and Absolutely. all of a sudden they're just going to do, do and right. and it's Your That's sons right. will prophesy. Yeah. Your daughters will dream dreams. It's going to be a part. And, and we are spirit people. So everybody going to be jumping around getting the Holy Ghost. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in 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 in, in the way the, that. in the spirit in the way the spirit actually will move us in the proper time, it'll be for Exodus because America's going down, the the hole is going down. So where are we going to Israel? Uh, no, uh, we're going to be going to the wilderness first because there's going to be a staging point before we actually go into well, the what, land. What, what, what land? What yeah. country? Yeah. Uh, Lebanon. So we're going to go over there and run the Lebanese out of their land? No, well, they'll probably be the only ones that'll let us in their land because mm -hmm. of our... See, the issue has to do with identity. Okay. Because we don't see... And the Muslims, they had a concept. They say, I ain't going to go with the white man, but since I still don't know, I'm going to go with the X. Yeah. You understand? Okay, right. And so, but the X was the simply same thing as black. When we go back to ge geography, mm -hmm. when we go back to language, when we go back to a certain, now I heard a, 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 a Muslim call in after I had Colleen say, well, there's no physical evidence that Hebrews even existed. It's all a myth. 
That's what he said. Okay. Well, the fact that I'm here means it ain't a myth because I'm a Hebrew. Right. You see, and, and, and also the Bible told us that the records among our people would be destroyed. So once again, we're going to <coughs> another level, a whole nother How level, convenient. that yeah, spirit yeah, thing, yeah. because the knowledge of being a Hebrew is that of the spirit <coughs> and not of the flesh, and he who worship him must worship him in truth and in righteousness. So, see, I'm boggled because you're talking about the spirituality in the same sense. You're talking about a dictatorship. I mean, it's... it's, 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 it's well, well, you, well, you call it a theocracy. <coughs> Yeah, and when you say right. theocracy, what do you define that as? I'm defining it as a system with no checks and balances. Get it? Mm. A dictatorship. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Which is yeah, I'm just saying people. the same thing you said. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're spraying this. You're spraying oh, sorry, this. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> I can right. show you. I don't have to go back 2,000 years. I can show you five months ago where it didn't work, Gideon. I, we can go to Egypt. We can go to uh, when you uh, say Libya. it. What is the it that didn't work? Theocracy. Theocracy. E e e. Okay. Okay. Theocracy. Well, at this time, everything in its time, and, I, and again, <coughs> I believe that the end game for America and its pillaging of, of see what goes around comes around. If you take some from me, you may take it right now, but sooner or later, you're gonna figure out a way to take what you oh, took again. back. And I think that is what's coming back to America. Everything that they've taken from others. The fact that they have nukes. See, you keep saying, well, it's the nukes, man. It the is. nukes protects us. It ain't the nukes. The it nukes, is the nukes. Get it? it ain't the nukes. Ain't, have what? they got the nukes? They don't have to. Wait a minute. Have if they, they got, got the nukes? It's, it's nuclear him. determined. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's if called. Yanga got a 45 on his hip, I am not going to rob Yanga. Right. It's nuclear determined. Man, hey. and, 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 and my thing, I'm sorry, any going on? My thing, <laughs> my thing is this. Is it America or is it the system that, because some of us as nationalists feel like, you know, the hell, this is our land, we contributed to it. Is it the system that has been put into place, an imperialist, a capitalistic imperialist system that exploits and uh, exploits other people, <coughs> oppress people and take the resources? Is it the people that are running this government? It's just like you look at Israel when the Romans, uh, Jerusalem, uh, when the Romans was in Jerusalem, since right. we, Titus we're the talking, Roman came right, in okay. 70 AD. They didn't destroy it. They just ran the Romans out. Mm -hmm. Is there some way that we can run the people who, because this country in, and I'm no, not. No, when Titus reigned in Jerusalem, it was our people that were <laughs> ran out. Okay, our people, but I'm saying eventually yeah. when they got the Romans out of there, if they ever got the Romans out of there or whatever, right. because I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm told, I don't know much about them pale skin. No, uh, Israel is a vassal uh, key surrogate state of the United States. So Absolutely. The Romans have never been Absolutely. run out. Absolutely. And, 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 and it's illegal. Shout out to my Absolutely. Palestinian brothers and sisters fighting and, for And Antiochus Epiphany. It's from Palestine. And this was another thing historically astute at, relative to our spirituality. Because as Hebrews, when the uh, Romans came in in 70 AD, what they normally like to do when they come into another country of control is get their God and throw it over, yeah. break on, break it down. And the problem that they had, they couldn't, somebody get a uh, black some water, they couldn't find a God. Mm. You understand? Right. They came in there, you know, they done right. ran, ran the people, you know, they right. ran up into the temple and everything. They were looking for the God to piss on it or something, yeah. you know. Yeah, do something they to said, it. Damn, where the God at? Yeah. What did they end up doing? Antiochus Epiphanes end up sacrificing a, a swine on Yah's altar. Yeah. That was the only thing they could do because we are a spiritual people and our power has never been natural. Oh man, get um, it. Well, you're a part of that tough. power it's and that spirit. Get it, you tough. Man. Yeah, no, no, y'all tough. Y'all tough. tough. Yeah. I'm you saying tough. It's, it's, it's hard to, because I mean it's it's really hard to argue that. And then it's you know, you don't want to be you wanna be sensitive to people's beliefs and things of that nature. But you know, one of my problems with even as the the Muslims, the Hebrew Israelites, this and that, I think that sometimes it disconnects or discounts our history as West Africans. As who we are, as as you're talking about the tribalism that, because see, you mentioned the gangs, and that was yeah. an excellent uh, point you made because they are tribes. Mm -hmm. They go with the colors. Mm -hmm. They have rituals. Mm -hmm. That tribalism is a is a a, a uh, what can I say? A reflection, a relic of our ancient past when we certainly the twelve tribes of the children right. of Yah as well as the tribes of Africa. Mm -hmm. So those tribal connections help to identify us as a people, whether it's the way we wear our hair, whether it's how we eat our foods, uh, whether it's how we like water or not mm -hmm. like water based mm -hmm. on the regions in which we have, have cohabitated. So these are inflections that should be legally 
uh, stated on documents as to who we are. The only thing we got is we brought some slaves from that south coast of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And you got a number. That same number you had then, you got now. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I'm confused, though, because you, you, you personally, you went to Nigeria. Yes, sir. And you went amongst uh, the Igbo. The Igbo. Ebo, the and Yoruba. They. <laughs> Fulani. Okay, right. And they had killed <coughs> souls. They didn't have no dictatorship, Gideon. You're right. And they did. The kings right. had uh, their... Had a council. Absolutely. That's I was in democracy. the proper area. Well, it's not so much... So you don't have a king and have a, a democracy. No, 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 That's no, no, a, no, no. <laughs> that, no, no. It don't no. sound right. It's no different than us having a democracy and having Barack Obama. Well, I mean, no, there is a difference. Control. See, oh, Barack Obama isn't the end all and be all. The king is. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama got an answer to some folk. Mm -hmm. He got an answer to the Bilderberg group mm -hmm. that meets. He got an answer to the Knights of Malta. He got an answer to the Rothschilds. He's got an answer to, you know, the Bohemian so Grove what about the, Pact. What about the melanated people that, that are down with democracy, Gideon? Well, the melanated because people that die, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, if you want to be down with Massa, ain't nothing wrong with you being down with Massa. I think, man, listen, the only solution, the only solution for the African man here, here in America is nationalism. It's like the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey said, race first. If we're looking to religions, if we're looking to people to come save us, this one man, too long have we depended on one man leadership. Right. Right. Too long have we depended on this Messiah, these charismatic characters to come and give us the answer. Mm. The only thing that we, the only salvation that we possibly could have is the nationalization of us as a people. That means that we start to be accountable for our spending. Sure. Mm -hmm. We start to take control of our education. We start to take control of our socialization. Mm -hmm. And if our religions, mm -hmm. if our religions and our spiritual beliefs mm -hmm. don't empower us in that, if they cause divides, mm -hmm. if they start to get us to be anything other than mm -hmm. an African people, an mm -hmm. oppressed people mm -hmm. here in Africa, then we really have to evaluate But that. let me show you something there, because it, in the, what you defined was, see, the a sanctified, uh, the, what is it, the Sanctified Congregation of NCCI uh, down North Decatur Road, they were part of the Hebrew group. What they did, just like the Ben Amin's group, they took their children out of the schools. Mm -hmm. They developed their own mm -hmm. schools. Mm -hmm. That's the Muslims mm -hmm. have their what? Own, own schools. schools. Right. This is the reason how we can redefine the parameters and change the paradigm of the thought processes that America has infiltrated us with. with. But what we haven't done, we find the Hebrews have taken their children out of the schools, the Muslims have taken their children out of schools, but they haven't lent these expertise to the African community in, in a whole to say this is how we, as a people, can take our children out of the schools and this is the curriculum that we teach. Well see, this is the only thing I think you're discounting and, and see, as a nationalist and a panther, you all know there's an unseen force. There's a dark side out there. We down Absolutely. here in this dirty, baby. Absolutely. It's this dirty South, baby. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, wait a minute okay. now. They just got through showing you with the, Viet uh, the Veterans Administration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These boys don't have to tell you nothing. Their paperwork and look pristine as it mm -hmm. wants to be. And they've been lying and cheating all the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They showed you that in the CRTT scandal, mm -hmm. where the paperwork was being what? Manipulated yeah. and molested. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After the paperwork, it came, this paperwork been dealt with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. It came up funky. Mm -hmm. And that's the white man's way. But to go along to get along, Negro, because they getting what? They pain. Mm -hmm. They living in a nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They going to the parties. They yeah, can go down and do, and go with the big well, wigs and mm -hmm. the fly well, across let me, let me, America. Let me say this in his defense, though. Let me say this in their defense. You're, you're talking about the, the black capitalists. Yes. Okay, but you got to understand that the black capitalists has a wider range to work with. You talk about educating the kids, taking the kids, the Hebrew kids, Muslim kids out of the school community, but with those school institutions, you have to have job institutions. And with job institutions, you have to have resource institutions. And with resource institutions, you have to have economical trade institutions. So the black capitalist is offered that through the capitalism. That's what I'm saying. We have to, you know, we, we have to look at the system and offer something better there. Well, see, the term is entree pro negro. Ah, right. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, right. Entrepreneurship. We can call it what we want. But the no, entrepreneurship right. is the manifestation of individual ability to create wealth. If you want to look at individuals okay. like a Master P, uh, right. like your boy who's the actor that started on WAOK, 
Uh, he's oh, an innocent. Right. Uh, what's his name? Ludacris. Ludacris, right, it ain't. Right. Uh, and I am talking about the rapper. Mm -hmm. So these are methods that which we do. When I talked about one of the sons of the Chi Hebrew children, now he has his own mobile mm -hmm. car wash. Right, right. So there are methods, and the genius of our people had. See, you have a system of white supremacy that creates licensing mm -hmm. programs like with marriages. And they, oh, you can't do this. You got to mm -hmm. get a license. Mm -hmm. You can't sell food to your people. You got to license you. Mm -hmm. You can't do this and you get but all at the same time they doing all of that absolutely through the paperwork that they done manipulated under the scene yeah, absolutely. The ones but that's the but right. if we're on, not man. careful that's what entrepreneurship does i think a lot of times we, we have to be careful not to just get caught up in the entrepreneurship but it has to go to a bigger goal we can i can go start a business but all it does is perpetuate and help to push this capitalist this whole capitalist bs mm -hmm. african people here in america we have to understand that we spent a trillion dollars last year Come on, this money you. has to this money has to build our institutions we have to go yes we have to take baby steps so we may have to start retail but if i if our end game is just to uh end up retail i got a store a lot of negroes are happy because they got a store That's right. right this is my store but we go from retail then we want to be the we want to be wholesale, then we want to be the distributors, but then me, we oh, want to be the people shipping it over here. Let we me, have to understand that we're a nation let me within a nation. You, because see, what you find is the concept that you just talked about, you don't want to be under dictatorship. See, many people find, see, Minister Farrakhan, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has had a concept and, and uh, uh, Wallace D. Muhammad and uh, uh, these, Elijah Muhammad. It, Elijah Muhammad, all have been men that had, in a natural sense, the methodology for us to build a nation. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, but because people outside think that once you get into the Muslim groups, as you well know, mm -hmm. it's what? A dictatorship. Yeah, a dictatorship. That's why the most majority of the people aren't supporting him because he he, he has but the that's why it doesn't Wait a minute work. now. He says, well, it does work. But it's if it doesn't even it isn't uh, supported because the same thing you were saying about not wanting the uh, dictatorship of a righteous spiritual kingdom, mm -hmm. the same people use that methodology to not support uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, That's who's using the methodology. They have factories. Uh -huh. They have the ability to uh, farm. Yeah. But the vast majority of people are scared because they say but, ain't no in the Muslim community that there's a dictatorship. Exactly. It, it, right. Dictatorships don't work. That's proof of pudding. Uh, the proof is it, it, that's, the proof. You're saying exactly what I'm saying. That's the proof. A dictator doesn't. But it does dictatorship work. work. No. It, does it doesn't. Work. Let me tell you why it doesn't work. Okay. Let me tell you why it doesn't work. One, it doesn't work because those, like you said, those industries. With so-called Muslim industries, a nation of Islam industries. When you have a dictatorship, Elijah Muhammad was a nation of Islam. Right. This is why right. those industries benefited him. This is why he could get secretaries pregnant. Exactly. Uh, uh, Farrakhan in this dictatorship. This is why they following the white boy now, Ron L. Hubbard, yeah, a scientific yeah, writer. Yeah, exactly. In this, you know what I'm saying? In this, so dictatorship. Unless the people are empowered. Right. See, unless they're held, unless Elijah Muhammad is held to the same standards that he holds his followers, exactly. they should have been able to came and say, "Hey, look, the law says this, brother. Exactly. So you got to get up out of here. This exactly. is a democracy." That's right. You know what I'm saying? Empowering the people. Right. Anytime you have a dictatorship, you have a person that is above the very laws that govern the other people. But what it you will just never define work. is the American religious system. Muslim, yeah. Hebrew, Christian, agnostic, all of them yeah. are dictatorship. Yes. Because they've seen the American methodology and it's about what? Dictating to everybody. Exactly. But you know what? Another thing I want to add on to again, uh, Yang is saying. I need to calm down. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, 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 this is real. This is real. But, but, dictatorship goes scientifically against human nature. Yeah. Because a, a, a person want to have a say-so. Those people might have left Farrakhan or Elijah Muhammad because they feel like they didn't have a say-so. Well, what you're saying, in effect, <coughs> has some semblance of truth, but people also want leadership, just like children. Yeah. Yeah. We are children, yeah. in effect. No. And a child, even though as they become an adult, uh, may uh, stray from what their parents have taught them, but in reality, they yearn for their parents. They Absolutely. want that leadership. So peep, that's why people follow in these see, groups. That's why they follow men because we naturally want, want lead. family. And, and the leadership is family. Yeah. Yeah, it's but, really, boy, that's what it comes back to, but, the family. But, get in, but, get in, but, but let me just say this for the record. Dictatorship goes against black nationalism. That's why 
Malcolm X was kicked out of the nation. That's why Khalid Muhammad was kicked out of the nation because these brothers were black nationalists. That's why I tell people Elijah Muhammad was not a black nationalist and neither was Farrakhan, but right. Malcolm X was and Khalid right. Muhammad was. Okay. And that's where the difference, that, that's, we're talking about this right now. Mm -hmm. You're talking about a dictatorship, democracy. Right. That's all black nationalism is, is a democracy. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, it's, it's right. Right, I'm sorry, brother. Go, go, go ahead, go ahead. And so it's all, all of this is a democracy. We, we can trace it back to the tribes where there were no centralized government. It was decentralized, meaning you always had a council. So when the white boys but you came, had pharaohs now. Come on. Whoa, 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 wait, go, okay, get it, get it. Slow down, slow down. All Africans were not monolithic. That, I, I'm not with that Kemet stuff. I hope to be a third way. And even if, and even if, and even if they did, even if they did, but let me ask you this: did even it exist or not? It, no, it, it existed. Right, okay. It existed. And where's his damn dynasty now? Right. <laughs> under America, saying, we're uh, living under, at it. Under, under, under saying ran by Arabs well, actually, who invaded. America is uh, ancient Egypt. Revisit it. Okay. If you look at no. the techniques in okay. I mean, yeah, they use a, they use exactly. a lot. Of, they use a lot of you know in, the, you in Washington. Right, they use anyway. a lot of the the Egyptians. You got the what the Washington Monument and all of these. Right. Things. They, the whole the nine. But you Come know on. they use theirs. Theirs is a lot of ritualistic and symbolistic and this. Now we gotta understand. We gotta understand that they're masons. Yeah, that, hold on, that's Bingo. like Bingo. you know Bingo. we gotta understand Bingo. that they're masons. See, it's that's like comparing Eminem to Grandmaster Flash, man. I'm saying, right on. If we're like, we like to go too far, they'll say, Eminem is the king of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? No, you know, he doesn't call himself the king of hip-hop, you know what he is, right? He's the god of hip-hop. Oh, man. Self-proclaimed. That's what I'm talking about. Self-proclaimed. Right. He's the guy. He didn't beat Rakim, man. Nobody Come better than Rakim, man. man. But anyway, I, 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 I say that to say that when we go back, when we talk about these, I think that every human being, especially the African here in America, wants the right to self-determination. We do want, I don't necessarily say leadership in the sense of the word that is used now, I say guidance. When I'm, I'm the leader, I'm the chairman of the uh, New Black Panther Party. I don't say, you know, they say, well, you're the leader. I don't look for followers, I look for supporters. Because at any time that I go against the constitution of the Panthers or go against the 10 point platform or the nine local objectives or whatever that we're doing, then I expect my supporters to no longer endorse me or to give me that support and to replace me with someone that's gonna go ahead. An old saying of the BLA, the Black Liberation Army was, if I lead, then follow me, or support me. If I hesitate, then push me. If I stop, then kill me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so basically, basically- Leave if, no man behind, huh? Right, okay? <laughs> so if, if, if I deviate from uh, what we all are saying that we're agreeing on and this is gonna what's gonna empower us as a people, then the people who support me have the responsibility. In fact, I think the Constitution says that, I forgot what amendment is, it says that if the government is unable or unwilling. Right. The Fourth Amendment. Is it the Fourth Amendment? If the government is, yeah. is unable or unwilling, then, and I'm paraphrasing, then it is the responsibility of the citizen, the citizenry, to take to replace that government, Absolutely. to remove that government and replace that government. Absolutely. I mean, really, honestly, and I'm not saying this to validate because I know our viewers are going to have something to say. Do you hear what Yanga said? So I'm not validating <laughs> any Europeans or white supremacy, but really in the concepts and in inception, if we're not looking at color, which is impossible to be colorblind, but just in the ideology, the Constitution and the concept of America is a very revolutionary concept. Absolutely. 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 So, so we look at, so it's not necessary, we have to look at the powers that be that misuse the things that go against the natural order of men, mm -hmm. you know, and try to set up these dictatorships under the skies of a democracy. Mm -hmm. They try to set up, they try to do things to uh, promote and push white supremacy. I think us as the black nationalists, we have to right now as a strategy, we have to be very reasonable and very real and then jump in here brothers anytime. Well, I'm getting ready to well, ask you because okay. when we talk talked about the issue of dictatorship, once again, we've defined that that's what we see that America is wrong with yeah. the dictatorship. Yeah. Well, see, that's why they killed Brother Malcolm, killed God, Colin Muhammad. They took out the Black Panther parties because they were pointing out that we are not operating under a true democracy. Exactly. And so it took black nationalists. This is a, what exactly. country only has a two-party system anyway? Right. That's Worldwide. Gangsters. That's yeah, straight, straight up gangster. That's, that's, that's all like, it is. That's like, that's like cousins. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? It's like it's you go to one cousin and be like, yo, your cousin jumping on me. Right. Where they got to say his mother is his auntie. Hey, say brother. <laughs> no, it's really brothers. Brothers, right. That's right. Come Same on, right. Well, well, and again, you know, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna definitely acknowledge what you're saying about Egypt. It, it was a dictatorship, but not all of Africa was under a dictatorship. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You know, you mm -hmm. had the uh, the Songhai Empire. You had, you had the which Masi. ruled the whole known world at that time. Actually, well, you you had they they. Uh, anyway, I continue mean, with your point. Right, right. So the point I'm making is that you're gonna have people 
that are probably down with democracy and mm -hmm. some are that down with dictatorship. Look, so I have family it. members. I grew up in Southwest Atlanta, man. Okay. Swats. Shout out to the Swats. Shout out to the Swats. You know, so sorry. Right. I mean, be before then, I was in, in Henry County, down in McDonough, Georgia. You know, uh, Henry County War Eagles. You know, uh, Henry mm. County Training School. Uh, the issue is, I have family that love baseball, apple pie, Chevrolet. They love the rat. You know, the whole mm -hmm. nine. That's okay. So you know, uh, and the creator. That's why you take. You have to take it out of man's hand. We can't judge anything right or on. anybody. Right on. What we can do is analyze. We are told as scriptural be, uh, believers to be watchers. You're going to be a watchman. And he said, what you see, you warn the people. That's the only reason the Most High has allowed me to be on these airwaves. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank Comcast, you know, Sue Ann, the whole Comcast, Click International, National, and International, how y'all do. You know, and, and see, the thing is, people are going to be who they're going to be. So that's why we as Hebrews give it to a higher power, those who are us who are spiritual, to not judge anybody, but try to work with people and then show them the creator in our actions mm -hmm. and in the words that come from our mouth. Rather than trying to judge, as we got a number of our brothers come out of the prison system, mm -hmm. come into the Hebrew community and use them same prison techniques mm -hmm. that they, you know, right. come in your face kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Try to back then they form coalition within the group mm -hmm. and normally call elders, mm -hmm. and the elders then assemble and then gangster the whole group. Yeah, you know, right. so they, it's it's a, a, a network. It's not about, and then they they gangster the women. Mm -hmm. They're against the to do men. If you don't do what they tell you, then they're against you up out of there. <laughs> right. A lack of identity, though. If you exactly. ask me, it's because the African man and woman here in America has lost their sense of identity. Exactly. I think, and I've said this numerous Absolutely. times before on the show, that what we end up doing is we start to find our identity and our culture in our, in our, in our religious beliefs. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Instead of being African, we say, I'm Muslim, I'm right. Hebrew, I'm this, I'm that, instead of African. And so what that creates is a, a denomination. A denomination, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And right, not only am I a Muslim, I'm Nation Islam, I'm Sunni, I'm Orthodox. So we got the dinner. But, and what that does, that provides a disconnect. Exactly. When you look around, you look around, um, you can go to an Asian community, uh, Chinatown, you're going to have Buddhists, Taoists. Yes. Taoists. Um, Taoists right. and every other ist mm -hmm. in there, but they have one thing in common, that they're Asian. Yes. And that they right. that, that section of the city or their mm -hmm. community, they're going to do what's in the best interest mm -hmm. of that section of That's the right. city and community. Exactly. And until we start looking at it from that point, that we're descended, that we're African people here in America, mm -hmm. that our, you know, our land is Africa, exactly. where we come from. That's right. We have to start to do those things that empower us in that. I don't, I'm not one to really knock spirituality because but I- But what if you've been taught to hate Africa and everything about it? You don't even like your hair, mm -hmm. where your nose right look, the way your lips right look. On. Why did they told you? And then all you, you know see is you white do? images. Then you know what you do? You become a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> that way you only have to be African. I am a Muslim, brother. Allah <laughs> says there is no color, brother. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean yo, but that's part of the fight that we got to deal yeah, exactly. with now. That's real talk. Exactly. And, it, and, and so it's like, like, I'm going to say like I told Andrew Hunt, you know, we, we got to get on the level of this wage equality here. You know what yeah, I mean? That was an excellent you know, That was a good point. Right. Did you see how red he told yeah. right, Boy, I thought, some, yeah. I thought yeah. you were going to catch a charge. Yeah. For, I didn't get on smoke, man. I said, I'm not going to jail with son today. I thought you had He killed him with that one. No disrespect, yeah, huh? That was, you know, that, was, right. that was a master stroke. Right, because, I mean, we, we've been so long, we've been, oh, woe is me, I'm black, mm -hmm. I'm black, I'm African, mm -hmm. and so now people are trying to use that against us. Oh, well, it's, it's not about color, brother. So right. now we're not dealing with important issues like over in Seattle, mm -hmm. you know, the first uh, socialist uh, city council, they raised a minimum wage to $15 an hour. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. we can't, you know what I'm saying, we're missing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that will mm -hmm. solve a lot of ills of our community. But see, there's another level to that even as well. Wage equality is one concept but what you find in the corporate arena is that they have redefined masculinity the masculinity is defined by the females that are masculine not the men anymore right. what they have done even though they've changed the uh, hiring wage they still discriminate on the hiring and right, our right, young right, men right. are still left 
at the first five, the last high, and when they're high, they're put in positions because they got so many situations now where they want to go a bunch of lesbians in the place. Mm. They want that lesbian uh, population because they have political clout, mm. because they oh, know oh, they ain't going to have no fuck. What did he say? They do have say political, political clout. That's what I thought I heard. And oh, then, that's what I thought I heard too. Not oh. only forget, you got the de other sexual deviants on the other side, which are the men. So what they do is they put the males, which they I think they just made another a sexual deviant. Uh, get it, get Barack it. Obama gave him a, a, a chief justice but, but position. Get it, get it. Now, now look at all this that's going on. Come on. Are you mad at them for doing that? Because that's something that For doing we, what? Hmm. What is it that they, what are they do, Oh, you just said political clout. Well, political clout. So they, they sat at the table like this. They let said, me okay, define we need to political clout. Okay. In America, political clout simply means that you go along to get along. You'll do anything, drop down, buck, dance, squat, swim for the white man's uh, percentage How do you of get what he's going to do. Where do you get read that definition at? Oh, well, that's in the Gideon's definition of <laughs> okay. political okay. jargon. Okay. Just, just making sure for our, for our people. Because it seems, it seems to me it's the other way around. It seems to me that they... That they uh, that they you know go through Five minutes. Uh, they go through the changes to garner to garner their their vote. It right. seems like they do the buck. Well, see that stuff. is just right. the simple. That's the image they want you to project. You drank the Kool Aid. Why they don't give a damn about whether you? Wait, 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 wait. They have an Get electoral it. college that controls everything Get under the. You ain't yeah. figured out yet why they manipulate things yeah. under the table, did, baby. Did, did, did I'm Hunt, sorry. Go did ahead. Mr. Hunt come on the show. Oh, that now that was you. That brought him. That's because okay, but, but you become an international player of the first order. You're a warrior, a soldier, and despite your uh, yeah, yeah. running with rabble lousers like myself, <laughs> you know, you got a king like, you ain't gonna have that, that, that person who wants to reach the highest position in the region. Came in here, right. came into the arena. Mm. But see, he had to be a decathlete to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? The average brother won't, won't go step up in here. Right. You feel I, I think the son, the point that our dear brother's son is trying to make that. He buck dance and, and did it for us to try to reach a black constituency. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Oh, he and, didn't, uh, the white part didn't buck dance. I mean, the lieutenant, Mr. Hunt didn't buck dance when he was here now. Uh, he he, didn't, couldn't, he, buck, he couldn't buck dance. Exactly. He was too red, man. But you see, <laughs> hey, he was, you see, when I asked him the question about drugs in the school, how he ninja'd out of that. Oh, man, he, he ninja'd out of that. Did you that? see the question yeah. about unions? You exactly. Know, I was like, I was looking at son. I was like, you do know he's a business owner. <laughs> no, I can't. We back. can unionize. I think union is a good no, he like did. Word union. He did one of the matrix moves. He did one of the matrix moves. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. He was, boy, he was but see, I to... came back and stood right in front of him. I said, wait a minute now. I ain't going to let you get away with that. Uh, what about, how do you feel about drugs in the school? Mm -hmm. He, he ninja his way out of that yeah, one. He, I mean, he just like disappeared. Let me tell you, you know? something. See, let me tell you something. Selena could have took notes from him. That's how you avoid <laughs> questions. That's <laughs> how you tell <laughs> political judge. I don't know if he answered any real question in there. Now to come to think about it, I don't think he answered anybody's now, he, question. That, that's a politician. But he smiled, but he smiled hey, a lot he of people. And at the end of the day, passed we, out we, some we standing there holding flyers when he walked up out of And that's why I had to give you props, though, here. Because at the end of the day, we all standing there holding the flyer and Gideon's like look I'm gonna tell you I don't even get involved with that beep, beep, beep. a lot of explicits you know what I'm saying so oh, he was he was, he was no he was the politician man. oh politician. man boy was he good he, he was, was good. he was super good are we out peace we out all peace man see you next week man. having too much fun up in man, this too much, man. All right, man, we out I mean. <laughs> woo, woo. Well, I told you you could carry this thing man this is man <laughs> Now look, I ain't gonna be getting no call from Mr. Hunt. I'm gonna get him at the Yahweh. I'm just telling you. I was like, I would put up to it, my son, and get you back.